Now let's add a status bar to the game. And status bars are great for showing health or how much of the level somebody's got completed. And it's a very simple thing to do. I've made a PNG file here that is 15 pixels high by 300 pixels wide. And I'm going to make a new class here. And I'm just using a test project here. But you can go ahead and do this inside the main game if you wish. Make a new file in classes called status bar. And I'll copy this over to the main game in a little bit. Status bar.js. And we'll make a class status bar. And it extends phaser dot group and we make the constructor which is called when the class is created and then we have to call the constructor of the phaser group and we can do that with the super keyword and we pass it an instance of our game and we have to load in that image that stat bar game load image and we'll give the key of stat bar and images statbar.png. Now back in the status bar class in the constructor, I can simply create the sprite now and I'll put it at x0 and y0 because I can adjust the x and the y coordinates of the status bar itself. So this will make a sprite inside the group and I think the key was stat bar. Let me go back and check. Yes, it's copied over to be sure. Now we need to link this class in the index HTML. And I'll just copy this line here and paste it. And the path is JS classes status bar. The only thing left to do now is to create an instance of that status bar. And we'll call it status bar equals new status bar. Let me just make sure I've got the capitalization correct here. Yes, camel cased. And it's a good practice to always start the class name with a capital letter. And then we can make the instance name the same name, but with a lowercase letter. So that should put that right in the top hand corner. There we go. So now let's move that to the center of the screen by saying status bar x equals game width divided by 2. And we'll put it in the center horizontally, rather vertically as well, game height divided by 2. And let's subtract the width of the status bar to put it dead in the center. Now we want to set a percentage, something between 0 and 100. So I could simply make a function inside the status bar, set percent, and we'll use percent as the parameter that we're passing in. And we need to turn that to a decimal, like a 0.5 for 50%. So we simply say percent equals percent divided by 100. And then if we give a variable to this image here, saying this bar equals this create stat bar, then we simply say this bar width equals, and 300 is how long it is normally, 300 pixels wide. So we times that times percentage. So if we pass in a 50%, it will turn that to a 0.5. 300 times 0.5 is 150, which would be 50% of the width. And we can test that out here by saying status bar set percent 50. Let me 
me just check to make sure that's the right function. Set percent. Right. Ah. We misspelled it. I misspelled it. All right, let's test that out, and we should get 50% now. Great. Let's test that out at, say, 15%. Ninety-nine percent, and there we have our status bar. Now let's go ahead and copy that over to our main game. 